It is time for your dose of heavy weights, heavy music, and some heavy motivation. Push in one hand and sh in the other, and see which one fills up first. Welcome back, you sexy it is time for your dose of heavy weights, heavy music, and some heavy motivation from yours truly. Today, I got some pin press. It's gonna be heavy, because I got some to work through, and you know I'm gonna catch a filthy pump. So, let's go, baby. Guys, so this is week three of pin press. Week three means it's the week to go ham. So today we work up to four plates for four reps, 180 kilos. This is hard, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, this variation of bench press is much more difficult than an actual bench press. If you haven't done this before, I definitely recommend you give it a go because it is a lot harder than it seems and than it looks. It's very humbling. If you're not in the right position before you go to press, that ain't moving. Let me tell you, that sucks. So I was pretty stoked to get away with this today. That's a good little win because let me tell you, it's been a rough few days and this is the last thing that I really wanted to do. But you know that I came in and I feel much better now. I feel so much better after getting this out of my system because sometimes you've just got to feed that dog. You know what I mean? You've got to exercise that beast. You can't just sit down and do nothing and hope it goes away. Cause it's hungry. It needs to be let out of the cage. You know, that's powerful. And if you can learn to use that, oh my friend, you're gonna be in for a lovely surprise. Ooh. It's time to unleash that beast, baby. Let's go.
So that's that baby, that's pin press. 180, two by four, and 160 for seven. They're all PBs, happy days. But hey, it's time for us to have a chat. Just me and you, heart to heart baby, heart to heart. Now, I know I'm harsh. I know I come across as a bit of a prick sometimes, maybe I'm insensitive. That's okay. That's okay guys, but you know what? I want the best for you. So I wanna to talk to you about something today. The biggest mistake that I see people making, this is the thing that pisses me off more than anything, okay? Because I see so much potential in people. I see so much power, so much promise. But the number one f issue is that most people, your own worst enemy. You are the reason you don't reach your potential because you're constantly letting yourself down. You have all this ambition, all this drive, all this motivation, but then something happens. You have a bad day. You have a fight with the partner, with the missus maybe. Maybe you had a shit day at work, I don't know. Maybe you're feeling a bit sad. Maybe you're feeling a bit depressed. Yeah, we've all been there. We've all been down in the dumps. We've all been lacking motivation. We've all wanted to close our eyes and just, oh, we just hope it's the last time, you know? But hey, that's not how it goes. So unfortunately, when we're faced with these situations, it's on us, it's on you to solve it, to get out of it. You can sit there and you can accept your situation and your circumstance and you can cry and you can say, I'm not gonna go to the gym because life's too hard. Everything's too hard. This is too hard. Work sucks. My girlfriend's sh You sound like you have a boyfriend. You sound like a real b And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having a boyfriend. If you're a dude, you do you. I'm just having a joke. You know what I mean. But you sound like a real b Stop letting yourself down. When you don't want to go, just look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, are you okay with this level of mediocrity? Are you okay with just folding when times get tough? Are you okay with just walking away from the promises and responsibilities you have to yourself? Because I'm not. I've had that conversation with myself many times. Many times. It's a hard one to have. Sometimes you're looking in the mirror and you do not recognize the person looking back at you. Sometimes it gets dark. But that's life. You can sit there and cry about it and be a victim. Or you can stand up, you can take it by the Horns, you take that bull by the horns and you wrestle and you push back and you go to the gym and you do what you have to do and you achieve everything that you are capable of. You're capable of it, you can do it. You do not have to keep letting yourself down. Stop doing it because you're only letting yourself down and then you're going to become bitter and resentful towards anybody else in the world who's actually achieved something because they didn't back down. They said, no, f you, I'm not gonna be a bitch. I've got shit to do. So, I know I sound aggressive. It's been a hard day for me. I'm feeling down the dumps. I'm feeling sad. Sometimes I don't wanna wake up, man. Today was hard, bro. It's borderline shit. It doesn't stop. I just want some quiet sometimes, but hey, <laughs> wish in one hand and sh in the other and see which one fills up first. <sighs> but I will not accept this mediocrity. I will not accept this as my destiny. Nah, I will push through. I know there is more for me and I know there is more for you. You are capable. So the next time you're thinking about quitting, the next time you're thinking about giving up, ask yourself, what would I think? What would this think? I'd think you're a bitch. And I would not shake your hands and I would not look you in the eyes. I will not respect you. But, 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 if you get up, if you go to the gym, if you do the things that you promised yourself you would do, I will respect you. I will look you in the eyes and I will say, good job. I expect that from you and I 
It may seem like I expect a lot from you guys. It may seem like I have a bit of a hard taskmaster, but hey, I do not expect anything from you that I don't expect from myself. I uphold a high standard for myself, which means that I expect a high standard from you. We are a product of what we surround ourselves with. That old saying. So you you're my friends. You're what I'm surrounding myself with, and if you're watching this, you're choosing to have me around. It's a good start. But I'm gonna bring you with me. I don't leave people behind. If you wanna come to the promised land, <laughs> you're in the right place. So, make sure you're subscribed. Please guys, if you're still watching, drop a comment. That helps the algorithm more than you know. That helps me. I'll keep making this content. I'll keep kicking you up the ass until we get these results that we want. We've got this. You've got this. Oh, shit. Anyway, it's been a day. It's late. I'm going to go home and uh, get some food in. And we'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again. Even if we don't want to. Make that promise to yourself. Go to the gym.